Hello everyone, welcome back to 20 Minutes Till Dawn. Today I'm going after the On The Edge achievement to survive the night at 1 max HP at the end. So to do that we're going to want to pick somebody with no more than 4 max HP, although probably 3. And for my preference of that I think I'm going to pick Spark. Your bullets have a 50% chance to cool down lightning on impact for 5 damage. That's going to mean that we can give up two of those HP with the two demonic symbols, the two pentagrams that we get from the two different bosses that drop them. Then as for symbols over here, I want second wind. When your HP drops to one, instantly heal three HP, activates once per game. No. I would probably want Guardian instead, but we can't afford it. So we'll take that just in the interim period. Uh, I want Fire and Reload Rate. Do I? No, Bullet Damage is fine. Uh, and every third shot has infinite piercing. We definitely want the Holy Shield to begin. And for a weapon, I'm going to take the Dual SMGs. These are my preferred with Spark because we just get so many bullets out. And we're on Darkness 13, so Elites have even more HP. Obviously, could do the achievement on Darkness 0, but I'm still trying to get up there to the 15s so that we can do... so that we can do uh, the achievements up there. So as you can see, we start with this Protective Shield. This Protective Shield is going to be important to us because it's going to keep us safe when we are down to only 1 HP when we get there because obviously that is our main objective apart from surviving the night now there are going to be some other things working against us we only get four selections here after we've done the i think it's darkness 11 or darkness 12 you go down to four choices of selection but this early i will take a dragon egg after only 34 seconds i do like just trying to get as much volume of bullets as well as as many different lightning sources as i can in fact what i am going to do very quickly is let's take this down a bit just because i'm really aware that we are going to have so many shots and explosives and lightning bolts and all of that stuff that it does get a bit jarring to hear it going all of the time especially with the smgs firing off near constantly so we picked up an upgrade for our dragon there because those upgrades for the dragon make the dragon stronger every minute but that minute qualifies through the time that they are in the egg or that the dragon is in the egg so it's definitely worth having what I really want, as soon as possible as well, is run and gun. But we're not getting offered it here. So we'll take more bullet damage and some knockback. Run and gun lets us move more quickly while we are firing our weapons, as you would assume from the name. But currently, we are very slow while firing, so we kind of have to attack and move and move and attack and it gets difficult so run and gun would be a blessing let's come up here and get this dropped xp carve out a little hole for ourselves so i do really want electro mage that's going to be really important for us but i will take haste first which then unlocks run and gun on the pool of things that can be found in our upgrades And you'll see every third shot that we shoot has increased damage and infinite piercing which is great for trying to carve through some of these crowds oh god i need somewhere safe to stand please uh enemies explode into three bullets when killed dealing 10 percent damage each oh well there's running gun we'll take that first exactly what i asked for now we can move reasonably quickly while firing 
and that's just going to basically make us a safer and b more efficient right now we could take some frost mage but i'm going to take splinter for these crowds enemies explode into three bullets when killed these bullets deal 10 percent damage So, you can see that the large crowd's just kind of wiping themselves out, which is lovely. Seizure warning for all of the lightning that is going to be populating the screen very quickly. And if we can get these exploding guys into the middle of the pack before we shoot them, obviously their death rattles are going to be even more effective for us. There is our first red-hemmed enemy. I'm never sure which is the elites and which are the bosses, but this one drops a chest. And I don't think the chests... Oh god, yep. Saw that coming. Luckily, as it was just our shield, it'll come back in a couple of minutes. Uh, I can't remember if it's the chests or the pentagrams that will offer us the opportunity to give up our max HP if we are to finish on one max HP for the achievement. Now, you'll see our dragon has hatched out of its egg, which is lovely. Uh, your dragon gains 8 damage every 60 seconds. I think it's definitely still worth taking that with 16 minutes on the clock. There is the chest that we want, but when we grab it, it doesn't automatically push everything away. Lightning strikes also inflict burn for 3 damage per second. Yes, we will take that. Our max HP is not impacted. Uh, but yeah, if you're in the crowd and you level up, then there's kind of a shockwave that pushes things away from you. But that was not... That does not happen when you take your chest. Now, reloading faster, I think, is going to be very worthwhile for us. And there's all these little pockets of XP where big crowds of things have exploded and then either the exploding enemies have popped into one another or the small bullets from the corpses of our foes deal 10 damage to more foes that then kill more foes when the crowds are very dense. So we want to make sure we're collecting those as much as possible. Now, we definitely don't want to take Vitality. That would increase our max HP, putting us further away of our goal. question is, do we go with more minions or more bullets? I'm inclined for more bullets right now, especially because we can have an additional shot fired behind us. When that gets unlocked, which will probably be quite good. Now, our dragon does fire in the direction of our cursor, so even when we're just retreating or re-navigating the battlefield, we should be considerate about where we are placing our cursor. Here is our first boss in a cage. So this will drop a pentagram, and when we collect it, it will offer us the opportunity to give up some of our max HP, which obviously we will be doing in some form or another. Our shield has returned as well, which is lovely. There goes the dragon lion thing. We'll go get our pentagram. We'll get a level up first. Uh, reload rate increases. Increase bullet damage by 50% for one second after reloading. Let's go Pyromage. We can set some stuff on fire. So, Tome of Speed, plus 50% movement speed, minus one max HP. That is an option for us. Tome of Elasticity, bullet bounce plus two, bullet damage minus 25%, max HP minus one. Also an option. Or Tome of Summoning. Our summon damage is increased by 50%, summon attack speed increased by 50%, and reload rate minus 50%. Now, that is not an option for us because we do want to be giving up our max HP, so I'm going to do it with the Tome of Elasticity here. 
So now big crowds of enemies are going to be even easier to kill because after we fill the crowd with bullets, those bullets will ricochet and hit other creatures even more frequently. Some more reload rate though would not go amiss. Now the gate is down at the 14 minute mark. There is split fire, shoot an additional bullet behind you. When lightning strikes into an enemy, there's a 20% chance you'll automatically refill three of your ammo. I'm going to take that first because there's every chance that we can just effectively go infinite with our ammunition now. Makes it a little bit riskier when you do actually have to reload, but with running gun and near infinite ammo, we can do quite a lot of good work. We don't want to move too far away in one direction though, because we do we do risk moving away from all this XP. And one of the darkness levels has us earning slightly less XP for each pip we collect, which is annoying, but you know, these things happen. There's a big, big lot of XP for us. Go get some of that. Your bullets deal additional damage equal to 10% of your dragon's damage. Now, our dragon's damage is going to increase every minute. So, do you think that's probably worth taking first? I'm going to take light weaponry first. We'll get this magic dagger swirling around, attacking more things for us. I'm always grateful to just kind of have another source of damage. You'll see just how much lightning there is going on around here. But we're not having to reload very often now, which is lovely. Reload rate increase. Increase bullet damage by 50% for one second after reloading. Now let's take Dragon Bond now. So now, as our dragon gets stronger every minute, so will we and our bullets. Obviously, we still have our shield around us, which is going to keep us alive if we get hit. Particularly if we get hit by a boss, because a lot of the bosses have started to do double damage. Uh, let's take Frost Mage. We'll have every opportunity to freeze stuff either when we shoot it or when the small bullets that they let off of themselves when they die hit another creature possibly even when our dragon's fire hits stuff it could freeze it i'm not entirely sure but so far so good Alright, fire rate plus 25%. I think yes. Especially when we're in this kind of pseudo-infinite fire rate. Because we keep generating ammo when our electricity strikes. I'd say this is going pretty well. Just going to keep working in this kind of wide arc. Electrobug for more electricity, or Sharpen for more summon damage. More reload rate and speed, or a magic lens. I'm going to go with the magic lens. Just because we're firing so often, there'll be a good chunk of that time that will be when the lens is in the correct direction. Especially once we get fire an additional shot behind us and we have double the opportunities for something to hit behind us i'm going to take heavy weaponry now this gives us a magic scythe that orbits us and deals the same damage as our bullets do so that is an extra last line of defense against anything that comes too close to us for so long i used to run and hide away from the crowd to increase my survivability but now it gets to the point where you can construct a build 
where you're almost better off charging into the thickest part of the crowd like this up here in the top right because that's where most of the best xp is going to be and because of the cascading ways we deal damage we're going to be able to just fire into the crowd and watch the crowd melt like that now at the 10 minute mark the brainish enemies will thin out and we will be introduced to the leech enemies but really that just gives us a moment of calm there's split fire shooting additional bullet behind us the uh brain what are you doing brain I got distracted by my phone pinging. Yeah, we, we have lots of bullets. It's a good time. Oh, um, the enemies are going to change. And when the enemy changes, things are going to get quiet. And when they're quiet, that gives us a good moment to go and hoover up a lot of the XP we haven't yet picked up around here. Right. When shooting your last ammo, we're not going to shoot our last ammo. We don't want more max HP. Fire starter, launch fireballs every fifth shot, or a ghost friend. Let's take the, the fireballs. Why not? See how quiet it's gotten in just kind of the volume of enemies that are around. This is our quiet time. Go fetch a bunch of this XP that was in the crowd. So how are you guys doing today? I saw a lot of people enjoyed the pacifist video. Reload rate increase, max ammo plus two doesn't really affect us. I'll take igniting lens for more ways to set stuff on fire. Yeah, I so saw a lot of people enjoyed the uh, the pacifist and perfect don't get hit run. Which is always nice to see. Hopefully people enjoy this one too. Obviously our dragon forever firing off. And then in a couple of minutes, we're going to get some more mini bosses. The first one is just a, a big lump of a thing. There it is. Summons loads of like tiny creatures around it, but nothing that I'm awfully afraid of. Our lightning doing loads and loads of good work out there. We just need to avoid these red balls that are being shot by the creatures with the red eyes. Or at least white eyes with a red pupil they are. Because we can't deflect those and they risk damaging us. There is our chest from our mini boss. Every third lightning strike deals double damage and generates one ammo automatically. Lovely. So now we almost guaranteed have infinite ammo. Crowd has gotten a little denser, but nothing we can't avoid. If you didn't know you can destroy these trees i've learnt i don't know that there's any benefit to doing so but it can be done uh light that passes through uh, bullets not light bullets that pass through your magic lens gain plus two bounce i think fire rate increase and max ammo max ammo not so much but bullet speed and fire rate increase will be good for us just means we can put out more bullets faster and the bullets and the lightning are really what this run is all about. We can even kind of just stand here defending our position and then there'll be this giant donut of XP around the sides waiting for us. But in a moment... A fence is going to appear, and we're going to have another boss to defeat. 
Is that the seven minute mark or the six minute mark? Looks like the six minute mark. But these crowds, we can just waltz towards these crowds. They don't really present any threat to us with their current volume and HP and the rest. Most of our foes at any one time are basically frozen. So I really like some more XP now, please. There's a level. When shooting your last ammo, it's not going to happen. Bullet damage increase, bullet size increase, fire rate decrease. Uh, I think we'll take that. So we're firing more damage slightly less often, but also all of our summons that do damage equivalent of our bullet damage are now doing more damage because our bullets are doing more damage. And you start to see the wonderful beneficial cycle of getting all of these things. There's the six minute mark. Oh, is it the five minute mark we get the... Uh, the fence. I guess it must be. Right, let's try and punch in here a bit. And then start moving around what was the perimeter to get all the XP that's been dropped by the enemies we shot in that circle. Ghost friend. More reload rate. What's after that? Increased reload rate by 5% for every enemy kill. We don't need more reload rate. So let's take another magic dagger. I'll be fine by me. Alright. There's another 45 seconds gone in an instant. So at 5 minutes, there really will be another red fence up here. That red fence is going to contain within it the next mini boss we have to kill, and that will be the one that we have to kill in order to drop down to one max HP for the purposes of getting this achievement. Now, a lot of these uh, winged leeches are going to disappear now, and we're going to be replaced with quite a lot of either these exploding ones or the red eye shooters, which is annoying because. They almost pose more of a threat to me. Bullet damage and piercing is great. So the first and second bullets that we shoot, because the third bullet has infinite piercing thanks to our runes, but the other bullets that we shoot will pierce through one enemy and then hit a second enemy. Plus they have ricochet as well. Now watch out for those little exploding ones. So this guy here, if we get too close to this many-eyed creature, which I'm kind of at risk of right now, he will project five dotted red lines and then fire lasers onto those lines. Uh, but it's dead, which is good. There's six seconds of this fence left as well, which is also not bad. So, Tome of Summoning. Increase damage, increase attack speed, lower reload rate. Doesn't work for us, we need to drop to 1 max HP. Tome of Elements also doesn't work for us, doesn't reduce our max HP. Tome of Rage also does not reduce our max HP. This presents us with a problem, doesn't it? Alright, if we can't get rid of any of our max HP by any of these, we will take the Tome of Elements, increase our burn, lightning and freeze... And what we're now going to have to do is simply take as many levels as we can in the next four minutes. Because there is one or two other upgrades. In fact, if we come to here to synergies, we might find death rounds, reaper rounds and light bullets. Max HP minus one. So we need Reaper Rounds, which I have no idea if we have in there or not. And Light Bullets, which I also don't know which one of these it is. But if we can get those, there's a chance we can populate the Death Rounds 
thing and lose one max HP, which is exactly what we need. So now it's gain as much X HP as possible. Oh, sorry, XP, not HP. As much XP as possible, as fast as possible. So we're just going to move into the densest part of the crowd whenever we can. None of these are light bullets. Let's just check elsewhere for anything that looks even remotely like light bullets. I will take frostbite here. I would like this dragon to be dead. Just because it's got red on it. Makes itself out to be a great target. There you go. Bullet damage minus 25%. Lightning damage plus 50%. It's fine by me. It's not the HP max loss that I need, but it might help me generate more XP in the very, very short term. What I haven't taken is Magnetism. There is Magnetism. Penetration, Assassin, Sniper, and Take Aim. None of these are Light Bullets. So I'm going to take Magnetism just to try and pick up as much XP as we can, as fast as we can. not here either recharge excitement watch and learn divine blessing is not it these are not light bullets either pick up range plus 20 percent give me so we've got two and a half minutes to try and lose one hp but it has to be our max hp not just lose one of the hp that we happen to have by being hit is not it either none of this is light bullets i don't know where light bullets exist or if it's something that i'm misunderstanding all right give me more burn damage then Right, now the enemy spawn composition has changed a bit and we've got a lot of those leeches back. I'm convinced they drop less HP or possibly that there's just le less HP to be picked up because there's fewer of them per, like, square area on the battlefield. Soothing warmth doesn't really help me. But it's the pass through our magic lens game plus two bounce. Sure. Got a minute and a half left. So I'm going to get more reckless because there's no point in being alive and not having found the upgrade we need. So. I'm going to charge into as much foe as I can. Oh my god, we got it. Right, so max HP minus one. Your bullets deal an additional 10 damage. So now we just have to be really careful for a minute. We do still have our shield, which is good. And we just have a sea of lightning and bullets. So 
30 seconds. So now I'm being far less cavalier about trying to pick up the XP. Because there's nothing that we need. We just need to survive. Oh, that 30 seconds flew by. And there it is. Achievement unlocked on the edge. So it was a close one, but we got there. But that was the on the edge achievement. Thank you ever so much for watching. Join me very soon where we will be taking on not Darkness 14, but Darkness 15, the highest of the darknesses. And that is when we start unlocking an achievement for each character and each weapon at Darkness 15. Until then, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.